Hello folks, Prasad Domala here. In this video, I'll show you how we can access private EC2 instances without using bastion hosts or uh, jump hosts. So let's get started. You might already know that we can't access private instances directly unless you have VPN direct connect or uh, other sorts of network connectivity to your VPC. You need to have some sort of intermediary instance often called as bastion host, which will be residing in your public subnet to connect to your private instances. Using SSM Session Manager, we can now connect to our private instances directly without Bastion hosts. You don't need to open any ports, not even SSH port in your security groups to IPs or uh, CIDR blocks. This adds additional layer of security to your EC2 instances. There are a couple of prerequisites for this setup on the client side, that is on our local machines and on the EC2 instance. On the local machine, we need to have the latest version of AWS CLI and we need to install a plugin for the CLI called as Session Manager plugin provided by AWS. On EC2 instance, we need to have the latest version of SSM agent and we need to attach an IAM role with permissions for EC2 service to interact with Systems Manager. So let's check our local machine prerequisites first. Just to let you know, you can find all the commands and code I use in this video on my blog. I'll leave the link in the description. I'm on my local terminal here. I have my AWS CLI installed already. Let's check the version. I'm running AWS CLI version 1.16.250 and I'm using Python 3.7. As I said, we need to install additional plugin called Session Manager plugin. AWS provides the binaries for this plugin for all major operating systems. On my Mac, I'll use this uh, URL to download the Session Manager plugin. So I'll leave the links for other uh, operating systems in the description. So the plugin is downloaded. Let me unzip it. We can install the plugin using the install script provided as part of the bundle. I'm using Python 3 to install as my uh, CLI is configured to use Python 3. We can provide the install location and uh, symbolic link using hyphen I and uh, hyphen B options here. I'll provide my password. And then the installation is successful. So you can execute session manager command, which is session hyphen manager hyphen plugin, which will tell you whether the installation is successful or not. So those are the two prerequisites we needed on our uh, local machine. Now let me show you my resources on AWS. I'll quickly show you the template I used, which is a Terraform template. I'll provide you uh, the link to this template. First, I'm creating a keypad to attach to my EC2 instance. And I'm storing these uh, keypads in SSM parameter store, the public key and the private keys. Next, I'm creating three security groups, Bastion security group, private security group, and endpoint security group. The VPC endpoint is optional. I'm using it because I don't have any NAT gateway or proxy in my setup. The requirement is that the private instances should be able to reach public SSM endpoints for SSM to manage those uh, instances. You can achieve this using proxy or NAT gateway or uh, VPC endpoints, which I'm using in this uh, demo. Next, I'm creating IAM role to attach to my instances. This role or instance profile must have permissions to access SSM. You can attach a predefined role provided by AWS, which is Amazon SSM managed instance. I have that as a variable in my uh, Terraform template. Next is the VPC endpoint resource, which as I said, is required to access SSM endpoint. And finally, our two EC2 instances, the Bastion instance and the private instance. I'm using Amazon Linux 2 instances here, which comes with SSM agent pre-installed. If not, I have included a simple uh, user data script to install the agent when it's launched. It's just like three commands to install and start your SSM agent. So that's my setup. I'll quickly create these resources. I'll speed up the video while the Terraform is creating these uh, resources. Okay, all my resources are now uh, created. It took around three minutes to create all these resources. Let me jump to my AWS console and go to EC2. So you can see the two uh, EC2 instances created here. One is the Bastion host and the other one is the private instance. As you can see, my private instance doesn't have any public IP assigned and I can only access it using my Bastion host. Let's check Systems Manager. I'll go to Managed Instances, and we should be able to see our uh, two uh, EC2 instances here. 
let me copy the instance id of my uh, private instance now i can start a session from my local terminal using the instance id so i can simply say aws ssm and then start session and then the target would be the instance id I'm now logged into my uh, private instance. By default, SSM uses uh, SSM user to start SSH session. We can check it by running id command. As you can see, the user id is SSM user. We can use a different user and a private key to log into your um, EC2 instances. We need to make a small change in our SSH config to use uh, proxy command. Let me exit out of this session. And then let me open my SSH config. In this config file, we need to add two lines. We are basically telling our SSH agent to use AWS start session as the proxy command if the host name starts with i hyphen star and mi hyphen star for managed instances. The advantage of using this method is that you can use all SSH options like specifying key pair or uh, username. Now let me save this file and go back to my terminal. Now I can simply execute my normal SSH command, which is uh, SSH hyphen I, and then my uh, key pair, and then I'll use EC2 user at the rate uh, instance ID. As you can see, I'm logged in to my uh, private EC2 instance as EC2 user and using my uh, key pair. As I said, this process will work without opening any ports in your um, security groups. We can control access to our uh, EC2 instances through IAM policies. You will have full flexibility of uh, you know, creating granular IAM policies to control access to your uh, EC2 instances. So that's the process of connecting to your private EC2 instance using SSM Session Manager. That's it for this video guys. As always, you can find all the code and commands I used in my blog. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and see you in the next one.